Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brian here with a review video today. Um, this is everything I watched in February 2023. 17 different movies. Um, they range, a lot of them are horror, drama, some animated stuff. So I'll just dive right on in here. So the first one here I'm going to go over is a release from Lionsgate. It is a DVD from 2021 called Adverse. Starring Thomas Nicholas, Lou Diamond Phillips, Sean Astin, Penelope Ann Miller, and Mickey Rorick. Uh, your lead actor is Thomas Nicholas. Um, Lou Diamond Phillips plays a psychiatrist. Sean Astin plays Thomas Nicholas's character's boss. Uh, Mickey Rorick is, you know, this guy here. Um, and uh, Penelope Ann Miller is also in this. So basically... Uh, this is basically a uh, thriller about um, one man's quest for revenge. Basically, um, he um, Thomas Nicholas plays uh, um, a, uh, a rideshare driver called named Ethan. Um, he learns his sister Mia is in debt with a sleazy drug dealer with her, you know, with her boyfriend and everything. Uh, then his sister goes missing. He discovers that the crime boss, Mickey Rourke, is behind the act. And he takes a job as um, as his driver to get close to him. One by one, Ethan hunts down members of Caden's crew to wreak, to wreak, uh, wreak bloody revenge as he prepares to confront Caden himself. Um, yeah, this, this movie is kind of sad because, you know, the events that happen in it, but... I really enjoyed this film. Um, it's you know it's a good revenge thriller. Um, Thomas Nicholas is a, is a great act. Does a great job acting in this. Mickey Rourke, you know he's not he's in it, but he's not in it for that for um, that long. Obviously, um, yeah, like I said, Lou Diamond Phillips and Sean Astin play small roles in here. Now, if you guys follow what, what movie one he is in this film, it's, you know, it's a very short, small scene. He doesn't have any lines or anything. He's got a couple of his uh, crew in this as well. I um, thought that was cool that they were in this. So definitely check out Adverse. Uh, next one here. I mentioned this in my pickup video. Um, I, I got this for my, my niece and nephew. I did watch it, a little bit of it. I had to turn it off because it was annoying me. This is Alvin and the Chipmunks Halloween Collection. Um, I was trying to relive my childhood with this, but unfortunately just the, you know, the high-pitched voices of the chipmunks just really annoyed me, so I turned it off. Um, but you get five episodes on here, ranging from 1988 through 94. You get uh, Trick or Treason, Babysitter, Fright Night, Theodore's Life as a Dog, Nightmare on Seville Street, and Once Upon a Crime. Nice slipcover. I got this for like 99 cents at McKay's Used Books. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to make my shelf though, so I'm going to probably just resell that. Uh, next one here is a double feature. Uh, the second feature I've already I've already did a review for that and. Uh, Quite a few months ago but i got the dvd of dead kansas here with an hour to kill like i said i've seen an hour to kill really enjoyed that one dead kansas uh this is another what movie one crew type movie um he's not in it though it's just it's directed by his friend aaron carter um but i did enjoy it it is a post-apocalyptic zombie movie um takes place um I think it, it takes place in Kansas, I believe, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty good, you know, zombie. Um, I wouldn't say it's a comedy, but it's 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 low budget. It's pretty good though. I did I did enjoy that pretty much. An hour to kill. It does have Brendan Mitchell in it uh, and his friend G Gabe, and Luna Meow is in here as well. So yeah. Definitely, definitely a good double feature. Um, this was put out by Alpha New Cinema and Oldies.com. Uh, they're both on one disc, so I picked it up for like ten bucks. So new, so I, I enjoyed that. 
uh this one here i thought it was going to be good uh it's got some great cinematography in it unfortunately though the end some of the acting was bad the writing was kind of bad but uh it's the last in here from phase uh four digital media uh did not get this at dollar tree i'm sure it'll show up at dollar tree eventually uh like i said um it's basically this is about a university student laura loses her memory she is only left with the thought of to visit the island of Galveston. Uh, on her journey, everything gets in her way. She encounters car accidents, mudslides, and collapsed mountain roads, finding finding herself completely cut off from the outside world. This movie is all over the place. Um, like I said, great cinematography. The inn was very nice, very creepy. Um, some, I think it has to do with some of the overdub on here because it's it is a it's got american actors in it but i believe this is a chinese film if i'm not mistaken or hong kong film uh yeah, it's not going to make my shelf i did enjoy most of most of it but unfortunately it's just not going to make the shelf so uh this is from 2021 it is 98 minutes this is directed by uh, who directed this again? It'd be nice if they, you know, laid this out like, like other distributors. Um, yeah, I don't know who directed this because it doesn't really, yeah, I don't know. So, last in, not making my shelf. Uh, this one here, I got it, uh, one of my favorite used places, uh, Wonder Book. Uh, this is called The Hunt. From the director of Children of the Corn, Fritz Kirsch. This is from 2005. Uh, it's an image entertainment release. Uh, this is a really strange film. I, I did enjoy most of it. So basically, on a fall, a chilly fall morning, Jack Hamburg, his eight-year-old stepson and cameraman, head into the woods to make an instructional hunting video. When their outing takes a disturbing turn, while trespassing on restricted land, they stumble upon the relics of a mysterious structure and soon realize they're being stalked by someone or something not of this earth. So this is an alien type movie. Um, I thought it was alright. Um, it is, some of the acting is bad, obviously. Um, uh, the effects were cool. I did enjoy the effects on this, but I don't think it's going to make my shelf. But, you know, it's a, it's a good one-time watch. So, The Hunt. Uh, this was a fun, this was a ridiculously fun one. This is uh, Spirit Animal, um, directed by Madeline Deering. This was a um, recommendation from, uh, uh, what's her name? It'll come back to me. It was a friend recommendation to the channel. So I definitely wanted to uh, pick this up. Uh, I got it from the... Um, where did I get this from? I think it was, I, got, I got this off of uh, Facebook. I bought it directly from um, Neko Shark Films, I believe. Um, I think the guy was Joseph Ruscio. He is the... Co-writer, editor, special effects artist, and director of photography for this film. So uh, he actually signed it for me too. So that was pretty cool. Um, so basically, it's like a horror comedy, I guess you could say. Uh, it is a one of those holiday horror films. It takes place on New Year's Eve, New Year's weekend. Uh, this group of annoying young people around a cabin. For the weekend, ready to party, uh, a demented a killer stalks these woods dressed as different animals. And it, it's very strange. It's a very strange film. Killer picks off the kids one by one. It's clearly the only way to survive is to unleash their inner spirit animal. This is a shot on video uh, film. So if you guys don't like shot on video, this is not for you. But yeah, it's very, very low budget, very cheesy, but really fun. That's making myself. 
Okay, this one was a little very, this one was very strange. Um, I did enjoy this film quite a bit though. This is a massacre video release of a film called A Black Past. Uh, so a little synopsis here. After moving into a new house with his family, Tommy finds a mysterious mirror and diary in the attic. Soon after, the young man is plagued by increasingly disturbing and bloody nightmares. As Tommy begins to lose his grip on reality, he begins to transform into a bloodthirsty, demonic killing machine. Basically, this is about like a haunted mirror and it takes over your life, turns you into a serial killer. Um, very good, very low budget, uh, shot on video type. Um, uh, very bloody, gory, great pr practical effects. So if you guys like that kind of thing, you'd enjoy this. There is a um, special, um, another f uh, feature on here called Black Mold. I did not watch that film, but uh, this is out of print. I got this because they, uh, they found extra copies at their warehouse, so I snagged it. So if you guys can find it for a good price, I would definitely recommend it. Um, yep, there's the inside. This is the, this is the original, like, German, I think... Yeah, this is the original German uh, release cover art. Uh, this is directed by Olaf Ettenbach, and he's also, he plays Tommy in this film, so. It's always nice when, it's always kind of cool when you get the director that's actually the star of the film. Uh, next one here was a was a fun one. I got this from shotonvideohorror.com, and this is a film called Mr. Ice Cream Man from 1995. It is only 66 minutes, but... It doesn't really seem like it's an hour long. It seems like a, you know, your typical 80, 90 minute movie. Uh, this is, this takes place in the suburb of Las Vegas. Children are going missing at alarming rates. Police are determined to find the culprit. They think it's Mr. Ice Cream, the ice cream man. Uh, he's luring kids in with, you know, ice cream and he's end up killing them Well. It doesn't show him killing kids in this film, obviously, for different reasons, but, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's very low budget, very, um, a lot of kid actors in this, but definitely, definitely enjoyable, so I definitely recommend this one. You get a bunch of special features on this, um, audio commentary with the director and one of the actors, Shot my video, the True Independence episode, creating the ice cream truck, interview with cast members, and a bunch of other special features on here. So the director is the ice cream man in this. So yeah, so Mac Hale is the guy's name. I mean, there's there's a nice interview with him. I would watch that. So there's that. I believe this is a it's a real press disc. No, I it, know it's it's a burn on demand disc, but um, so yeah, Mr. Ice Cream Man definitely worth picking up. Uh, I watched this next one for Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, it was it was all right. I didn't mind this film. It's a film called Cupid, put out by Uncorked Entertainment. Uh, stars Sarah T. Cohen, Georgina Jane, and Michael. Owusu, that's how you say his last name. Uh, basically, this is about uh, a girl named Faye. She is being embarrassed by the mean girls at her school. Uh, they, they, she, later, you find out she's a practicing witch. She summons the evil Cupid to take revenge on all those within the school grounds who have wronged her. And then it just goes, you know, goes away, and he starts killing everybody. <laughs> um. This is a Scott Jeffrey film, so if you guys don't enjoy his films, you won't enjoy this. But I, I, I thought this was kind of fun. Uh, definitely, I'll definitely watch it again during Valentine's Day season, so Cupid. Alright, this one was a little disappointing here. Uh, this is a Dollar Tree pickup, uh, which is in the woods. This is a Shop Factory, Scream Factory release. Um... I didn't really care for this movie, to be honest, so it is not making my shelf. Directed by Jordan Barker. Um, the only person I recognize in here is Corbin Blue. 
So Jill, a teenage college freshman, abandons her studies for an off-the-grid snowboarding trip with her friends. But after the sun has dipped below the horizon, their SUV mysteriously becomes lost in this freshly logged mountains. Eventually running out of gas and leaving them stranded as the temperature falls, the tension within the group wrenches up in a metaphorical and then all too literal witch hunt ensues. This movie is all over the place. I couldn't really, you know, focus on this film, so I, it's not making my shelf, but I'd give it like a two, but two out of five, but don't recommend it. All right, now that's all the DVDs that I watched. Now I get to the Blu-rays here. I think it's safe to say that all of these will be making my shelf. Uh, we got from Severin, A Day of Judgment. This is from 1981. This is the, uh, what, is, what do they call it here? This is a Christian slasher film. Yes, you heard me right, Sla uh, Christian slasher film. Um, starring William T. William T. Hicks. Uh, this movie is like a, uh, kind of like a throwback to period piece. It takes place in the 1930s in a small town. Um, basically, death is coming to their town to get rid of all the, uh, sinners. Um... But it, it, it has a there's, a there's a twist at the end that you guys probably would, you know, probably see coming since it is a Christian slasher film. Um, basically, this one lady that lives in there just hates the, the, the children that live in, live in the town. And she's, like, always, like, worried that they're going to, like, destroy her property or whatever. So she decides to poison her plants and their... They have a pet. It's not a dog, though. I think it's a donkey or something similar to that. Well, anyway, their their pet gets into her yard, and and she en ends up killing the killing the pet. Don't worry, she gets her own in the end. Anyway, um, and then there's a bunch of other people that live in the town that are you know being scandalous. You know, having um, a you know. Adultery is involved and whatnot, but you know again, this is a Christian slasher, so it, it just it's basically just telling people not to not to sin, I guess I don't know I, I enjoyed it overall. I'm not a religious person, but I did enjoy it overall uh, Next one here is a wild eye releasing that is making the shelf mostly because this movie is hilarious uh, This is called black holler this is a 2017 uh, release, uh, 89 minutes. Uh, this is an also a 80s throwback slasher, sort of. Uh, takes place in the summer of 1989. On her first day of school, Lakita Johnson is forced to join a group of students into the mysterious Black Holler Woods for a class trip, where they face a deadly serial killer and the Holler supernatural evil forces. Basically, what the black collar is is just like the the woods, and then you know stuff happened there like fifty years prior or thirty years prior, and then they go back in there again. And uh, there is a twist with this film too, but it's just it's I find it funny though. It's, it's like a it's a horror comedy, obviously, but definitely enjoyed this one. It's got nice you know blood effects in here, gore. Um, yeah, so definitely recommend this one. Uh, this one I had to watch twice because I fell asleep the first time I watched it. Not, not that because I found it boring or anything. I just, you know, been working long days lately. So, uh, we got a film called Ghost Watch here. This is a 101 Films box set release. Uh, region A. Sometimes they are Region B or Region Free. It's, I think this is 101 Films the different branches. I think there's one U.S. and then U.K. I believe. Uh, this is a film from 1992. It was a BBC production uh, that aired on um, British TV on Halloween of 1992, and everyone thought it was real. 
Um, basically, when you go watch is like a TV, it was like a TV um, show going over like haunted homes. And uh, the early family, it's about this, or the early family, they're alleged being harassed by a ghost um, in the house, banging on pipes and stuff like that. Um, but I didn't, you know, it, it's, you know, there, there's a twist to that too. I'm not going to tell you, you got to watch it, but uh, it was a fun one, fun watch. I did enjoy this. Uh, I'll have to watch it again. If you guys enjoy like ghost movies or paranormal stuff, you'll probably enjoy that one. Uh, from the Criterion Collection, we have The Night of the Hunter, uh, starring Robert Mitchum and Shelley Winters. This is a film from 1955. It is in black and white, 93 minutes. This is another fun film that I found kind of creepy too. Basically, it, it says it's a horror movie. It, it has horror. It has a horror twist to it, but it's I, don't, I would consider it more of a drama. But basically, this uh, family um, loses their the father of the of the of the, the family. I guess robs a bank, and then he's on the run from the law. He hides the cash with the kids, his kids in their, I guess, teddy bear or, or stuffed animal or something. And then uh, he gets arrested, takes takes to jail. Then he um, tries, he, then he um, busts out of jail, but the, he meets this other guy in jail and he finds out that he has uh, uh, money hidden, hidden at home and he wants it. So he gets out on good behavior. The father, unfortunately, gets killed. Um, when he gets home, tries to, to get back home. The, I think the police kill him or something. I don't remember. Anyway, the dad dies. And then he finds his ex-wife, his uh, widowed wife. And he, he, you know, befriends her. And then he starts dating her. And then he's really just in there trying to get the money. And then there's a big twist after that. This is a really fun movie. I definitely recommend it. Uh, this one here. I bought this before the one movie I'm going to talk about actually came out from Vinegar Syndrome. So I'm going to be upgrading that. Uh, I watched Evil Laugh. Uh, it was a couple weeks ago. Um, that was a very cheesy, low-budget 80s film. But I, I I enjoyed it. It was kind of it was a horror comedy from uh, nineteen eighty five. I think it was yeah eighty five. Basically, it's about this group of kids. They're trying to, um, I guess rebuild this this old um. It's like an old school or something, and there's like you know hunt. There's something haunting it, and yeah, it was it was weird. The, the guy's evil laugh was kind of silly, kind of annoying, <laughs> to be honest with you. But uh, definitely, definitely would watch it again. So I'm gonna be upgrading that eventually. Uh, watch this on President's Day, obviously. President's Day. This is a horror pack exclusive. I got this, I think, from McKay's, like, quite a few years ago. I finally got around to watching it. Um, Sean C. Phillips is in here. He has a small role. This is directed by Chris LaMartina. I have met him. Um, I met him a few months ago at a screening of his WNUF Halloween special, the second one. Um, really cool guy. His wife's cool, too. So I definitely wanted to um, give him a shout out here. Um, so this movie is about um, uh, people are running for class president at this high school. And there's a psycho going around dressed as Abraham Lincoln, st killing students who are involved with the uh, <laughs> killing the candidates because he doesn't want them to become president of the class president or whatever uh there is a twist here who the killer really is it's really weird um 
you wouldn't think the killer is who it is because, well, you'll see why. Anyway, I, I do recommend this film. It is kind of funny, cheesy. It is a horror comedy. Chauncey Phillips plays the, the, the football team or the basketball team mascot. It's, it's kind of funny. But yeah, I do, I do recommend this for sure. So, President's Day, this is from 2010, 82 minutes. And the last one here, um, I gotta admit I did fall asleep toward the end of this film, but I did enjoy it from what I remember seeing. That is a film called Marrowbone, starring um, George McKay, Anya Taylor-Joy, Charlie Heaton, and Mia Goth, one of her, one of her early films. Uh... Four siblings move to America with their mother to escape a troubled past. When their mother dies, they vow to stay together no matter what. But when a ghostly presence torments what's left of their family and a lawyer threatens their pact, the four must stand together or be torn apart forever in this chilling thriller. Uh, a lot of creepy, creepy scenes in this film. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's, a, it's a strange film. I gotta go back and watch the ending, but uh, definitely... Definitely thought this was uh, worthy of the shelf. So, if you guys have seen Marrowbone, let me know if you enjoyed it. I did. So, I was 17 titles. Only four of them didn't make my shelf. So, that's cool. I, I like. I always like it when, I, when certain things make the shelf. So, alright guys. I will catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.